Hello and welcome to today's edition of the News in Brief, brought to you by... Graphic Communication is giving you the opportunity to have news not only in hard copy but also in a digital form. Download your Graphic News Plus now and choose your preferred package daily, weekly, monthly and annually and access free news on various interest areas as well. Visit us on graphic.com.gh for further information. Graphic News Plus, connecting people through news. In the headlines, fire destroys part of Kantamantu Market in Accra. The Ghana Integrity Initiative calls for the integration of anti-corruption measures in COVID-19 recovery efforts. And if you want to be poor, continue betting on sports. That is the warning from Bishop Dakiwad Mills. And NDC supporters sustain protests against declared presidential results with spontaneous protests in Tamale and Wa. A number of second-hand clothes dealers at the popular Kantamatu market in the central business district of Accra were on Wednesday morning greeted with hopelessness and waste as they reported for work. A raging fire on Tuesday night had destroyed their goods and stores with costs running into several thousands of cities. The cause of the fire was not immediately known. However, eyewitnesses say it started at about 10 on Tuesday night when traders had long closed and left the market. The fire badly affected the businesses of the second-hand clothes dealers in the market, and it took firefighters a real battle to put out the fire. The incident follows a similar one on Tuesday morning in the center of Koforidua, the eastern regional capital, which also destroyed the wares of many traders. The executive director of the Ghana Integrity Initiative, Mrs. Linda Furikwafu, says the country should integrate transparency, accountability and anti-corruption measures into its COVID-19 recovery efforts. She says this move will ensure that anti-corruption laws, among other things, are practicalized and wrongdoing adequately punished. Mrs. Ofori Kwafo said this at a forum in Accra on Wednesday as part of activities to mark the 2020 International Anti-Corruption Day. She said the proposal can be actualized when whistleblowers feel safe to report corruption and have the assurance that there is a strong political will and leadership to address corruption through a number of measures including investigation, prosecution and sanctioning of corruption. Ghana has won mouth-watering recommendations for the manner it has handled the pandemic. But you will agree that the pandemic also exposed the inequalities and failings that exist in our country due to endemic corruption. We can point to our fragile public health system, housing deficit, limited access to portable water, among others. For example, awarding of contracts for personal protective equipment, that's PPE, to persons' companies connected to us, overpricing face masks, hand sanitizers, and other key medications, sale of substandard products and services to unsuspecting customers. The founder and presiding bishop of the United Denomination, originating from Lighthouse Group of Churches, formerly known as the Lighthouse Chapel International, Bishop Dakiwad Mills has urged the youth, particularly students, to desist from betting on sports if they want to be prosperous in future. According to him, students who persist on betting will end up poor. In a sermon delivered at the First Love Chapel, University of Ghana, Bishop Heward Mills, who confessed to previously betting on horse racing when he was younger, urged students to rather engage in activities that would build the church. He asked the youth to tell themselves never again when they come to be tempted to bet. He told his listeners to rather invest their energies in the kingdom of God because it is the best project to bet on. I used to go to the horse races. Are you with me? Horse races. We don't have it anymore, but there were horse races. And my father had horses. So you see them coming, sometimes 15 of them. And those of us who were betting, you choose one and you bet on that one. I hear students have been betting. Look, if you want to be poor, continue. Yes. If you want to be poor, continue. Continue betting. From today, tell yourself when you see the bet, you have to go somewhere, you just do it on the internet. 
on the phone. Yeah. Tell yourself never, never, never again. Now to election 2020 related stories and the Institute of Democratic Governance, IDEC, as well as the Civic Forum Initiative, CFI, have indicated that independent audit of results in the 2020 elections outside the court will be unconstitutional. They have therefore advised aggrieved parties to seek redress in court. Former president and presidential candidate of the National Democratic Congress in the recent elections, John Dramani Mahama, has called for an independent forensic audit of the results declared by the Electoral Commission. However, the two bodies during a joint press conference on matters arising from the December 7 general elections insisted that an audit of ballots are authorized only by the courts. Listen to the Executive Director of IDEC, Mr. Emmanuel Akwete. I think ultimately, uh, we've been also guided by what happened in 2013, that the audit of some of the ballots was authorized by the court. And our understanding is that every decision the EC makes is grounded in law. And some of the, uh, the results are also grounded in law. They are gazetted and all that. So it takes the Constitutional Court and its, uh, 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 you know, other courts to, to, to act or to interpret what needs to be done. Otherwise, the EC keeps asserting it says, well, in discharging my functions, I'm not, uh, I'm independent and no one could dictate or whatever. So it's the court that has that power and that authority. Supporters of the Opposition National Democratic Congress, NDC, in the Northern and Upper West regions on Wednesday embarked on street marches in Tamale and Wa, respectively, to protest against the declared results in the recent presidential elections. According to them, the declaration by the Electoral Commission does not reflect the will and decision of the majority of Ghanaians. On the principal streets of Tamale, they chanted, No John Mahama, No Peace, while displaying placards which inscriptions read, Ghanaians voted for change, declare the right figures, and stop faking figures. The stolen verdict. Ghana police, your duty is to serve Ghanaians and not only politicians. In to show their displeasure towards the outcome of the presidential elections, the story was no different in Wa, where the supporters vowed never to accept the declared results. The NDC's position that we unequivocally reject the presidential results as declared by the EC chairperson, Madam Jane Mensah, on the 9th of December 2020. It is our considered view that Nana Akufo-Addo was not validly elected and could not be deemed as the president-elect for the Republic of Ghana. Meanwhile, the Electoral Commission has published on its website certified copies of the 2020 presidential election regional results summary sheets from all 16 regions. The 16 summary sheets are signed by the various regional directors of the Electoral Commission and the retaining officer of the presidential election, Mrs. Jean Mensah. The published summary sheet show they have also been signed by the respective regional coalition officers and the polling agents of the various presidential candidates. Thank you for watching. Remember, COVID-19 is still with us. Protect yourself and all others by taking the necessary precautions. For more news, visit graphic.com.gh or log on to Facebook at Daily Graphic and on YouTube at GraphicGH. I'm Amar Mankwa Befi.